Guns, guts, and glory. I do see bullet holes. Two strange inheritances. One, a Lone Star mystery. I'm Roy Robertson. Behind this door is the bulk of the collection. I don't think he wanted anyone to have the combination because that was his control over the Pandora's box. The other, a Texas-sized challenge. This may be financially one of the dumbest things that I have ever done. Together, can they make history? Fire! I'm Jamie Colby, and today I'm out in West Texas, about 50 miles southwest of Abilene. I'm here to hunt down two strange inheritances submitted by viewers whose stories converged into a single tale. A tale born straight out of the wild, wild west. My name is Garland Richards. In 1998, my dad passed away, left me and my siblings a large cattle ranch and a giant part of history. Well, I got your letter, and I'm dying to learn more about your inheritance. What is this place? This is the Richards Ranch, and this is Fort Chadburn. We'll be glad to show you around. I'm ready. Garland tells me Fort Chadburn was built in 1852 during the Great Western Expansion. The area had become a hot spot for violence between the pioneers and native Indian tribes. The U.S. military came in here and set up Fort Chadburn as a buffer zone. And unmistakably, I do see bullet holes. There was a Comanche warrior that was killed in this officer's quarters, and that's part of the history of Fort Chadburn also. During the fort's early years, a who's who of future Confederate leaders walked through its doors. Robert E. Lee was through here on three different occasions. Pickett. Long Street. After the Civil War breaks out, hundreds of Texas troops are mustered into the Confederacy here. But by 1867, Chadbourne is reoccupied by U.S. troops, many of whom leave their marks on its walls. Garland, every one of these walls, they're covered with etchings. Wow, Forsyth, October 1870, amazing. Garland, if these walls could talk, imagine. The U.S. Cavalry uses the fort until 1873, when its buildings and surrounding lands are abandoned. Four years later, Garland's great-great-grandmother snatches it up. They paid $500 gold for a section of land, which at that time was in the upper end of the land prices. Garland's ancestors used some of the fort buildings for milking sheds, feed and saddle storage, and even houses. They overcame a lot of adversities to actually make it a successful ranch, and this has been handed down to us. So when do a handful of decaying government buildings become an historic treasure worth preserving? For Fort Chadbourne, it begins when young Garland, the sixth generation of Richards on this land, plays his first game of cowboys and Indians among the ruins. Heck of a playground. I shot a lot more Indians out here than the cavalry did. <laughs> Growing up, I thought everybody had a frontier fort in their backyard. But as Garland gets older, he realizes how special this place is. And while watching the old fort crumble doesn't much bother the rest of Garland's family, it crushes him. What are we talking about, one pebble at a time? No, whole sections of walls. During a heavy rainstorm in 1995, Garland witnesses a column crumble off one of the old Fort Barrack walls. And I looked at this and I thought, that's gonna be the last time I see any of the rocks fall off of Fort Chadburn. I didn't want my heritage destroyed by Mother Nature. Knowing his father, Conda Odom Richards, plans to divide up the ranch among his three children when he dies, Garland asks for the slice with the ruins on it so he can fix up the fort. This may be financially one of the dumbest things that I have ever done. When his father dies in 1998 at the age of 72, Garland gets his wish, 9,000 acres. His strange inheritance includes Fort Chadbourne, and he gets $125,000 to boot. 
Garland's life's mission is now mapped out. He even convinces his bride, Lana, to quit her job and come along for the ride. What do you say to your beautiful bride? I love you, sweetheart. We have a beautiful life ahead. Oh, but I forgot to tell you, we're going to rebuild a fort. He didn't know how complicated it was going to be. <laughs> he had no clue. Everybody said, you cannot do this. You are not qualified to do this. But this stubborn rancher won't give up without a fight. And he'll get some help from an old friend over in Abilene, Texas. By the way, that man's heir, unbeknownst to Garland, also wrote me about his strange inheritance. I'm back on the road after the break. But first, our strange inheritance quiz question. After a drought in 1883, Texas made it illegal to carry what items? Matches, siphons, or wire cutters? The answer in a moment. So, what's new? We just switched to Geico and got more. More? They've been saving folks money for over 75 years. A company you can trust. Geico even helped us with homeowner's insurance. More sounds great. Gotta love more! Right, honey? Yeah! Geico. Expect great savings and a whole lot more. I have asthma, one of many pieces in my life. So when my asthma symptoms kept coming back on my long-term control medicine, I talked to my doctor and found a missing piece in my asthma treatment with Brio. Once daily Brio prevents asthma symptoms. Brio's for adults with asthma not well controlled on a long-term asthma control medicine, like an inhaled corticosteroid. Brio won't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden breathing problems. Brio is specifically designed to open up airways to improve breathing for a full 24 hours. Brio contains a type of medicine that increases the risk of death from asthma problems and may increase the risk of hospitalization in children and adolescents. Brio is not for people whose asthma is well controlled on a long-term asthma control medicine, like an inhaled corticosteroid. Once your asthma is well controlled, your doctor will decide if you can stop Brio and prescribe a different asthma control medicine, like an inhaled corticosteroid. Do not take Brio more than prescribed. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve or gets worse. Ask your doctor if 24-hour Brio could be a missing piece for you. See if you're eligible to pay no more than $10 a month. I needed legal advice for my shop. That's when I remembered that my ex-ex-ex-boyfriend actually went to law school, so I called him. He didn't call me back. If your ex-ex-ex-boyfriend isn't a lawyer, call LegalZoom, and we'll connect you with an attorney. LegalZoom, where life meets legal. Old Dominion has ranked number one in overall performance eight years straight. Customers trust OD for damage-free deliveries and real-time shipment visibility. Our people never stop working toward perfection. Old Dominion, helping the world keep promises. Taylor Watson? <laughs> no. No, is there a problem? We have a warrant for Taylor Watson for fraud. I'm Taylor Watson. Millions of children have already been victims of identity theft, some never knowing until it's too late. But now there's Experian. Protect your loved ones with our new family plan. Start for free at Experian.com slash family. Experian. Identity protection has a new identity. So after a drought in 1883, Texas made it illegal to carry what items? It's C, wire cutters. The severe drought sparked a violent conflict between open range cattlemen and ranchers who used barbed wire to fence in their land. The law was on the books for over a century. Hi there, back on the road again, heading out from Garland Richards Ranch. We'll return to his story, but first we want to pay a visit to another viewer from Abilene, Texas. He wrote me about his strange inheritance. My name is Roy Robertson. When my father passed away, he left the family a mystery in the form of two safes that would take us years to open and unravel the mystery of what was inside. Roy Robertson's father, also named Roy, was a civil engineer by trade. What do you remember most about your dad? I remember as a child thinking my dad was a little nerdy because he was an engineer, he was an outdoorsman. As I grew older, I realized that those interests were quite sophisticated. Such as Roy Sr.'s favorite hobby, scouring the Southwest for antique firearms. That was his passion after his family. To him, 
That firearm represented American freedom. Riding shotgun on many of these gun hunting trips, fellow history buff Garland Richards. I met Roy at a gun show, and his interest in collecting guns and my interest tied us together as friends. Roy Sr. collects rare firearms for almost 50 years, but only he knows the true extent of his armory. I'm Roy Robertson, and the collection belongs to me. He had everything in a couple of safes in the garage, but he never laid them out for anyone to see the, the scope of how many were actually there. This is the 1866 rifle. He most certainly never shares the combination to those safes. There's a steel frame, steel door, with a deadbolt locking system. Behind this door is the bulk of the collection. That was his power, his, his control over the Pandora's box. This is also a 66 carbine. Roy Sr. does give others a taste of his collection, though. One gun at a time, maybe two if you're lucky. It was almost like a celebrity not conducting interviews. He never let him see the whole story. It was a mystery. For Roy Sr., every firearm he collects is a glimpse into the gun-toting frontier. One of the things my dad liked to do was he would pick up one of his favorites and say, can you hear what this is saying to you? Can Talk you to me. tell me your story? This particular one has seen some very hard use. That means that this was carried on something, most likely a saddle horn, by someone for thousands of miles, oh my. protecting themselves from something. So the question is, what was the guy doing with this? Was this a wagon train, cattle drive, a stagecoach? Really tough times, difficult situations, life and death, struggle. That love of relics that tells stories from the past drives the now retired civil engineer to help his old pal Garland restore Fort Chadbourne. Once he saw that it represented a very important position in American history, he wanted to come every chance he got. Garland certainly needs help. Remember that $125,000 he inherited along with the fort? He blows through it faster than a Texas twister. Didn't you ever say, oh my gosh, I don't know how much more of this I can take. Yeah, there's, there's a few times that I'm like, where are we going to get this money? Where are we going to get that money? Was that sad for you and Garland? Oh, Garland was devastated. But Garland's not cowed, and neither is Roy. But do the buckaroos have enough grit left in their boots? And why does it take so long for Roy Jr. to open Roy Sr.'s locked gun safes? I think that was one of his final practical jokes on me. Next, two strange inheritance stories come together. Here's another quiz question for you. The 405 Winchester was a favorite of which American president? Zachary Taylor, Teddy Roosevelt, or Ronald Reagan? The answer when we return. Stay ahead of the curve every business day. What a wild week for stocks. We're staying on top of the story. Watch After the Bell, weeknights at 4, only on Fox Business Network. So we swapped your car out for the only Chevy Traverse. Yes. Do you think it's going to surprise your daughter? Absolutely. Wait, is Mom here yet? Where's Mom? She's in this car. What the heck? Whoa. Yo, whose car is this? This is the all new Chevy Traverse. This is beautiful. It has Apple CarPlay compatibility. Do those apps look familiar? Oh. You want to hit this button? There's a hidden compartment. Oh. Mom, when I'm older, can you buy me this car? I want to buy me this car. How do you win at business? Stay at La Quinta, where we're changing with contemporary makeovers. Then use the ultimate power handshake, the upper hander with a double palm grab. Who has the upper hand now? Start winning today. Book now at LQ.com. Sure, I was a weeder. Now I'm a preener. Preen Weed Preventer helps keep gardens weed free, freeing you up to do more important things. Preen, free yourself from weeding. Now try extended control for six months. Dre, when he was younger, he loved to smile. 
And we knew he would need braces because his teeth were coming in funny. That's when he had the bunny rabbits. We called them the bunny rabbit. Now those are the same two front teeth there that they are now. <laughs> Dendre ended up having to wear braces for five years because he never made it to appointments because he was busy playing basketball. If he missed practice, I mean, he don't get to play in the game. This is the picture that was on the front page of the newspaper. All you can notice is the braces. Then once he got to Michigan State, he broke the retainer. My bottom teeth, they were really crooked, and I just wasn't getting braces again. Small Direct Club fits into my lifestyle so well. The liner is so great. It's easy to just grab it and go, and then I can change on the road. I, mean, I did photo shoots with my liners in, and you can't see them. I wish Small Direct Club would have been around when I was paying for them. I wouldn't have had to take them out of school. I wouldn't have had to miss work. It's like a great feeling to have good teeth. A smile is a first impression. That's why I think having a great smile is so important. You thought that bandage would protect me? See the new skin over there? How could you not know it's the flexible liquid bandage? It seals out bad stuff like water and dirt. Hey, there's a spray, too. New skin. Apply. Seal. Heal. Don't waste your time and money at the chain store. They got the best auto parts. Brake parts, suspension parts, and dealer parts, too. The website's so easy to use. The lowest prices and fast delivery, too. All the parts your car will ever need. All the savvy folks are buying parts at rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. rockauto.com. I bet you've never seen a bed like this. It's the new Craftmatic Legacy Rising Pillow Rest Adjustable Bed. Featuring bedside power plugs, under bed nightlights, and more. For less, up to 50% less than Tempur-Pedic Sleep Number and other adjustables. Call now. you got to see how little they cost. So, the 405 Winchester was a favorite of which of these presidents? It's Teddy Roosevelt. The powerful rifle was one of TR's favorites. After taking it on safari in Africa, he called it the medicine gun for lions. In the early 2000s, Garland Richards is trying to restore his strange inheritance, Fort Chadburn, a frontier army outpost that has sat in ruins on his family's West Texas land for over a century. I always describe it as jumping off in the raging water and, and swimming your way out. Garland enlists the help of his old buddy Roy Robertson Sr., but he needs money too, a lot more than he ever imagined. He applies for grants and gets $374,000 from a private foundation to stabilize several of the Ford buildings. We hired several consultants. They would tell us that you would have to tear these buildings down, put a foundation under them, and build these buildings back up. Garland scoffs. He proposes an old west technique of braces and turnbuckles to stabilize and restore the walls. As a rancher, I've been taught all of my life to patch it up, make it last one more year. What we've done is taken that ranching theory and we have applied it to a historical site and we did this without removing any stones from Fort Chadmer. Garland's dogged determination pays off. His strategy is a huge success, leading to the reconstruction of three of the oldest Fort buildings. A lot of this was done because they told me that we could not do this. But not everything can be fixed with Texas ingenuity. Garland needs more money. Thankfully, it's increasingly clear the site is of genuine historical significance. We were left probably one of the most pristine archaeological sites of any of the frontier forts. That attracts an army of archaeology buffs who discover thousands of artifacts. Rattle off for me some of the items that were part of the artifacts that you inherited. Gun parts, doll parts, surgical instruments, coins. Some items link back to Garland's own ancestors, like this plate fragment signed in gold by Garland's great-grandmother. The shard was actually found under the floor in the archaeological excavation. This plate has been handed down through the family. It's beautiful. In total, the excavations uncover some 800,000 artifacts. The discoveries help Garland raise $6 million more in private donations and grants. 
In total, eight Ford buildings are restored or stabilized. But Garland's old friend Roy doesn't live to see all this restoration. He dies in 2004 of coronary heart disease at the age of 66. He died young. Yes, and I didn't really expect to lose my dad that young, but he made sure that every moment that we had him was great. It would be five years after Roy Sr.'s passing when Garland and Roy Jr.'s strange inheritance stories really merge. In 2009, Garland breaks ground on a new visitor center, and Roy senses a way to make his late father a part of it. He's finally ready to open those safes his father left to the family. At that time, the Fort Museum was just being completed, so it made sense then to try to get into the safe and see what was there. If I had lost a relative who had a safe of anything, and I didn't know exactly what was inside, I sort of want to look right away. We were hesitant to get into Dad's personal space. It felt like we were invading his privacy. Coming up. Were you surprised when you saw everything he had? I was astounded. What's your strange inheritance story? We'd love to hear it. Send me an email or go to our website, strangeinheritance.com. Hands go here. Feet go here. You know what goes here. And your approval rating goes here. Test drive the Z-Trax Z540R at your John Deere dealer and learn why it's not how fast you mow. It's how well you mow fast. Nothing runs like a deer. Save $250 when you test drive and buy a John Deere residential Z540R Z-Trax mower. Wednesday, live from Dallas, Maria's special sit-down with George and Laura Bush. The president and former first lady speak out on the key issues facing America now and how to secure our country's future. The exclusive interview only on Mornings with Maria. It's easy to think that all money managers are pretty much the same. But while some push high commission investment products, Fisher Investments avoids them. Some advisors have hidden and layered fees. Fisher Investments never does. And while some advisors are happy to earn commissions from you, whether you do well or not, Fisher Investments fees are structured so we do better when you do better. Maybe that's why most of our clients come from other money managers. Fisher Investments, clearly better money management. You wouldn't accept an incomplete job from anyone else. Why accept it from your allergy pills? Flonase relieves your worst symptoms, including nasal congestion, which most pills don't. Flonase helps block six key inflammatory substances. Most pills only block one. Flones. We ask people to touch the king's buns. What? Say it again. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm a fan of the king's sourdough buns. Get your hands on the new toasted, cheesy sourdough king or the breakfast sourdough sandwiches only at Burger King. Experience the 2018 Lexus NX and the NX Hybrid with a class-leading 31 MPG combined estimate. Lease the 2018 NX300 and NX300 all-wheel drive for these terms. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. At Crown Plaza, we know business travel isn't just business. There's this. A bit of this. Why not? Your hotel should make it easy to do all the things you do, which is what we do. Crown Plaza. We're all business. Mostly. If you would have told me three years ago that we'd be downloading in seconds what used to take minutes, <laughs> that guests would compliment our Wi-Fi, that we could video conference and do it like that. If you'd have told me that I could afford a gig speed, a gig speed network, it's like 20 times faster than what most people have. I'd have said, I'd have said you're dreaming. Dreaming. Definitely dreaming. Then again, dreaming is how I got this far. Now more businesses in more places can afford to dream gig. Comcast, building America's largest gig speed network. Monday, the new rules of retirement. Tax changes, plan changes. If you're trying to save or advising how to do it, watch special reports from the Napa 401k Summit. It's the insight you need, only on Fox Business Network. Now, back to Strange Inheritance. In 2009, five years after they inherited two locked gun safes, the family of Roy Robertson Sr. decides it's finally time to solve the mystery inside the vault. That is, if his son Roy Jr. can ever figure out the combinations on their father's gun safes. 
And he came up with this combination that was very complicated. It was like a Rubik's Cube puzzle. We didn't know how many rotations, and it was very easy to get the numbers out of order. And then he left out a few numbers. So how long did it take? Days. Days, Days. to crack them open. I think that was his, one of his final practical jokes on me. What he finds inside is nothing to snicker at. Nearly 200 antique firearms, the most rare among them, a complete collection of every historic Winchester, the rifle that won the West, short and long barrel models of each. It was almost like taking a sack of rare coins and realizing, hey, wait a minute, every date is here and every mint is here. Roy aims to put some of his dad's guns on display at Fort Chadburn, which Roy Sr. had spent his later years helping to restore. But when word gets out to the gun collecting community, the family has to rethink things. You knew those guns were valuable. Yes, and I knew that a lot of people wanted them. And is it also true that breaking up the collection and selling them individually could have yielded a huge payday? Probably. That's what we were told by auction houses and people that called us. The family is suddenly between the horns of a dilemma. Based on Roy's research, the firearms could be worth as much as half a million dollars. He invites his father's old friend, Garland Richards, over to see his inheritance. Were you surprised when you saw everything he had? I had seen one piece at a time. I had never seen it all in one place. I was astounded. Garland wants Roy Sr.'s guns to be part of Fort Chadburn, too, to sit on display alongside his own collection. I knew that what my collection lacked, his collection added to this would make a very nice timeline in a gun room. So he makes the family his best offer, around $165,000. Though it's only about a third of what Roy thinks they could make if they sell them piece by piece, the family takes the deal. The reality is he spent his whole life assembling that group of firearms. And so to disassemble them was very disrespectful in our eyes. And so Roy's complete collection of firearms lives in Garland's now finished visitor center that tells the tale of Fort Chadburn and the Texas frontier to 25,000 visitors a year. We tried to build this big enough to house all the artifacts and things from Fort Chadburn. Big enough for a stagecoach. Is big this real? Big enough for a stagecoach. It is for real. And big enough for a Texas-sized gun collection. I bet Roy really would have liked to have seen it this Roy way. Roy would like where his guns are. This is exactly what Dad would have wanted. It's on a property run and maintained by his best friend. And it's in a fort that the U.S. Army built and then discarded. So what could be better than that? Of course, for Garland Richards, Fort Chadburn is more than an old Army fort. It's still the place that first unleashed his imagination while fighting Indians on the frontier. You can tell he hasn't lost that childhood enthusiasm as he rolls up an antique cannon for my visit. This is a serious cannon. Can yes, you tell me about it? This is a model of an 1835 12-pounder Mauthauser. This is the smallest of the artillery pieces, but a very, very powerful gun. It can fire a 12-pound shot about 1,000 yards. OK, your first command is load. Load. Everything you see I'm doing right there, the same thing they did back in the 1800s. Ready? Fire! Literally, holy smokes. That was amazing. The first time that we ever raised the flag in the middle of the parade ground, I realized this is the first time that the flag has been raised in over 125 years. I was overwhelmed. I'm a proud Texan. I'm a proud American. And this is my contribution back to America. Garland and Roy loved collecting those old guns that won the West, but they never competed over a firearm. That's because Garland favors single-shot rifles, while Roy loved his Winchester repeaters, those classic rifles used by ranchers and outlaws. Two old buddies, their collections now displayed side by side. 
On that note, I learned something else on this trip to Texas. The state motto is just one word, friendship. I'm Jamie Colby for Strange Inheritance. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, you can't take it with you. I'm Bob Massey. For 32 years, I've been practicing law and living in Las Vegas. I help people with all sorts of real estate problems, from trying to save their homes to closing major deals. Eight years ago, 6,000 people a month moved here looking for employment and affordable homes. Little did anyone know that we would become ground zero for the American real estate crisis. Now, it's a different story. The American dream is back. We're gonna meet real people who face the same problems as millions across America. And we'll dive deep into the city on the rebound because Las Vegas was a microcosm of America. And now, Vegas is back. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Mack.